how to invest like Warren Buffett. What is happening people? So today I'm gonna to speak to you a little bit how the best investor in the world goes about choosing what stocks he wishes to invest in them, why he chooses them and everything along those lines and it might give you a better understanding of how people choose what to invest in because I've been getting that question a lot on Instagram. Before we get into that I'm gonna ask you to please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, drop me a comment, let me know what stocks you're currently looking at in this crazy market that we're in and subscribe so you don't ever miss a video. But anyway, let's get straight into the first point. Study the business, not the stock's price. A stock's current price in the market is one small piece of a much bigger puzzle. And just because a stock has either a low price or a high price does not necessarily mean that it is a good investment. There is much more to it than simply how much it costs. When you go ahead and buy a stock, you are buying a part of a business. You are not buying just a stock you are buying a part in a business. So you have to believe in that business, in its fundamentals and in its long-term growth. Now, if you do the research, if you find a company that you really believe will do well in the future, does it matter if tomorrow its stock drops by 5% or if tomorrow its stock goes up by 5%? No, if you're investing for the long term, it just matters that you think this business will gradually go up in the decades to come. So stop focusing so much on the actual stock price that you buy and put your time into finding businesses that you believe will do really well in the long term. Just look at essentially every single stock in the world right now. They're all down. And is that because the business fundamentals changed or because their potential to grow has changed? No, it's just the world that we're living in right now between the virus that shan't be named, oil prices dropping, everything that's going on, you all know what's happening in the world right now. But if you still invested in this company already and you still believe that this company is in the future going to recover and going to soar to new heights, it shouldn't matter that it is a little bit cheap right now or that you may have lost some money right now. Point number two, don't try to time the stock market. In my opinion, this is something that is especially true at the moment with how much the markets have gone down. People are speculating as to whether they're gonna shoot back up or as they're gonna plummet another 15, 20 plus percent. And the truth is nobody knows and that's why it's important to not try and time the stock market. If you're currently waiting and you're trying to catch the bottom of this whatever mini crash that we're in, more than likely you are going to miss out. So right now what I'm doing, my strategy is to do something called dollar cost averaging, which is just where you keep buying despite what the market is doing. So if the market keeps going down, fantastic, you know what I mean? I'm getting stocks at an even cheaper price. And if it begins to go up, also fantastic because I've been buying the whole way down. And once it starts to go back up, I'll see the profits. Obviously, if you were a magician and you were the only person in the whole world who knows when the stock market is going to be at its very bottom, that'd be amazing. But nobody on this planet knows when that's going to be. So don't try and time it. Just get into the market when you think your stock is at a good price. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to go in straight away. Like me right now, if you watch my previous videos, you know I'm watching Delta Airlines and Carnival Cruise Corporation very closely and I haven't yet invested. I will be doing so very soon because I see massive potential for it to either dip way lower or way higher. So just essentially don't try to time it. You don't have to jump into any trades, but don't try to catch the very bottom. Next up, and again, one that is so relevant in the market we're in right now, don't be afraid to buy stocks while they are going down. They are going down in price there at a discount to what they would have been literally a month ago, two months ago, three months ago. If you're afraid to buy them while they're going down, you're always gonna be buying them while they're going up. And although if you're buying them while they're going up, you may see a great return in the short term, when something like this happens and they plummet, all of your progress is gonna be gone like that and you'll be wishing that you did buy them as they were going down. To me, it seems crazy that people are afraid to buy stocks while they're going down because ultimately we know at some stage, whether it's in six months, five years or 10 years, they are going to go up or bankrupt. That's always a possibility, but the large majority of stocks are going to see a return. They're going to go back up. This to me is the best opportunity we've been presented in years and years and years to get into the market. Yes, your initial investment may initially fall 5%, 10%, 20%, 30%, 30%, who knows? But ultimately, it should recover if you invest in good businesses. Number four, dividends are key to long-term growth. So dividends are paid by the biggest companies in the world who make so much money that as a reward just for owning their shares, they'll pay you a percentage. So there's lots of companies on average that would pay kind of two to 4% of your investment every single year just for owning their stocks. Coca-Cola, for example, one company that I am currently invested in has a 3.1% current annual dividend, which means that for every 100 euro I put into the company, every year I get three euro and 14 cent just for owning those shares. I don't have to do anything. It doesn't matter if they go up or down, I will get that much money back at the end of the year. This is nice in tough times like right now because you are still getting paid on a monthly basis depending on how many stocks you have. You are still getting money every single month that can be reinvested back into the market and you will get paid that dividend 
pretty much forever as long as you hold on to those stocks. Lastly, and number five, remember that anything is possible in the market. If you remember this, it will help you make smart, informed decisions when you are deciding to make your investments. You won't just blindly choose a company and think, yeah, they might go up, I'm going to invest in them. Anything can happen. You can lose your entire investment if a company is to go bankrupt. You could make 2,000% your initial investment, not sell, and see it all disappear the next day. Absolutely anything can happen in the stock market. And that again is why it's so important to evaluate a business, not just the stock, to evaluate a business and to make sure that you believe in them fundamentally. You believe that they will grow in the coming years and decades before investing in them. You don't just invest because they have a really cheap stock price right now. So they are five points used by Mr. Warren Buffett himself when he's deciding what companies to invest in, etc. And they are five that I have implemented myself when deciding what stocks I want to buy on my investing journey. Obviously, there is much more that goes in to it and I will be making a video soon on exactly how I decide what companies I want to invest in which will be a really exciting one I think will help a lot of you out especially people who are brand new like me I am very brand new to this but you'll get a perspe perspective from somebody who is also new not one of these people who's been in the market for 50 years and knows absolutely everything I'll be able to describe it very simply but that video will be coming very soon so guys hopefully you did enjoy the video again if you did please smash the like button drop me a comment let me know what stocks you're buying subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one there's probably going to be loads of videos coming over the next few days because of the virus, uh, I may be stuck indoors a lot more than I normally am. But anyway guys, until the next one, peace.